What's up YouTube, Sky that one guy here, and today we have a huge mail day, one of the biggest I've ever had on the channel. This box is huge, it's like insanely heavy. It came from Canada from my good friend Troy, um, really cool guy, I've done multiple deals with him. Uh, hopefully he'll leave a comment down in the comment section and I'll pin it if he does. So you guys can say thank you for making this awesome video happen. A um, few things to note, really big box, it's going to be hard to uh, get everything on camera. Probably going to see my arms and my legs here walking on the side, but... Uh, yeah, anyways, so uh, the box got a little beaten up from shipping on the side here, and it's uh, really taped up really good, which I totally appreciate. So I think the easiest way to get in here is to just kind of see what's going on right here and maybe cut through that. I do feel some play mats right here, so I definitely don't want to cut anything important, but uh, I think we're good right here. And I'm sure... I'm sure there's a much easier way to do this, but uh, yeah, and uh, probably going to be a really long video, so hopefully you guys can bear with me through that. Um, I'm sure there will be recaps and some really good stuff at the end, so you can always skip through if you're uh, in a hurry. Just going to get this all the way opened. Just want to make sure I'm not cutting anything along the way. That's why I'm taking a little slow here. If I had better editing skills, I'd probably just skip this whole part so you guys don't have to sit through the first five minutes of just cutting a box. But uh, it will all be worth it. I mean, there's a ton of cards in here. I'm sure there'll be something everybody can enjoy in here. Oh, come on, box. All right, making progress here. I'd like to just get the whole top off. And uh, yeah, let me know how everything is going with you guys. And um, this collection came in today. Pretty excited to get get it in the mail. There we go. That's progress. One box. Work with me here. All right, we got it halfway open. We're halfway there. Definitely one of the longest uh, openings, but I really appreciate the, the very well packed job that he did. There we go. Looks like we're finally in it. Okay. So we're starting off with some play mats here. Go ahead and go through these. Got an. OTS Champion Ebon, really nice. Is that Ebon High Magician? One of the uh, Spellcaster ones, pretty cool. Hopefully you guys can even see these. Oh wow, this is a nice one. YCS, um, man. Really cool card, I can't think of his name right now. I know it, but it's not on the top of my head. I'll, I'll remember it halfway through the video, I'm sure. Okay. And we just revealed some really cool stuff. Here's a two-player Legacy of the Duel, uh, Legacy of the Valiant. Is that Exiton set? I think it's a Exiton number 101. I think that's what set it is. Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of stuff. Cool little display here. Put your cards in. Set that aside. Um, some really nice uh, card protectors here. Always. Appreciate those. I guess we'll go ahead and just start out with a binder and then we'll get into everything else. Yeah, that looks like a good place to start. So, how do I want to do this angle? I guess we'll do it like that for now, see how that goes. So, we got some promos here that's the promo Stardust and the promo White Aura. Same with Hot Red, so those are all from the magazines, I believe. Cyber's Quantum Dragon, some Omegas. Really good synchros here. Crystal Wings. Oh, that's cool. German uh, Mistworm there. Formula Synchron. Beals Elias. These are all promos from the magazines here. Pretty cool. Psychic Nightmare, Du Lauren. Black Rose Moonlight. Some really cool stuff in here for sure. So, really good start. 
And uh, he did say to save the ul uh, ulti and juice deck boxes for last. So we'll find those soon and we will save those for last. So definitely stay tuned for those. I see a first edition banisher, which that's right up my alley. That's a classic card first edition. That'll probably go in my personal collection. Then we have a secret card guard. Very beautiful secret rare first edition from Ancient Prophecy. It's one of those cards you just don't see too often. All right. I believe there's definitely more cards in here. Yep, okay, right here. So now we're on to the spells here. So Scapegoat, Brain Control, some Saber Vaults. What is that? First edition, the sh uh, Shining, Shining Darkness? No. Um, can't remember that one off the top of my head, but a really old secret rare. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Some really cool uh, secret rares in here for sure. Tiris, Minerva. All right. A really solid start here. Some really good exceeds. Here's some good ones. Puppet King. Crimson Crisis, I think. Mist Valley Apex Avian. Mystical Fairy Alphiria. Dark Samorg First Edition. That's awesome. D-Boys. Yeah, these are some really good secret rares, definitely. These are the type of cards that I definitely enjoy collecting, so. Really appreciate these. There's a Jinzo Booster Pack 10 promo. Sorry for the glare. Dark Voltanus. Yeah, really good first edition uh, secret rares here. Got some Voice Raiders from the 10 promos. Very nice. Sinister Serpent. Screech. Yeah, these are all very nice uh, secret rares. There's a Mazaro Deville, Ancient Sanctuary first edition. Check that one out shortly after the video. Come back to that. So that's the end of the first binder. So let me get the other table a little closer. And I really don't know where to start. So I guess we're just going to just go into some stuff. Oh, that popped right open. This doesn't have any labels on it. We're just going to check everything out little by little. So I just opened this. We're going to go ahead and pull, pull a pile out of here. This must be bulk rares. Totally cool with rares. So just to give an idea of what's in here, we'll sift through a few and then we'll move on to the next box. Some good rares in here for sure. So these are definitely, oh, there's some classic rares. IOC, LOB, nice. Very cool. So I'll go through these more after this video. But uh, yeah, it looks like that first box was filled with rares. Very nice. Okay. All right, and you can see the pile of binders just right under that, so. I believe most of these are the bulk, but we're gonna just kind of peek through them all, so. Commons, commons, yep. And if I miss anything on the video, um, I'll definitely go back through it and try and do a highlight later or something, but yeah, so bulk commons, totally cool with that. Definitely owned a lot of cards. I mean, this thing was heavy, so. We'll kind of just get all this out of the way real quick. Open up this Excalibur one. Okay. Yep, some more. A lot more commons. I, if this, if I went through them all, it'd be like an hour long video. So we're going to skip those for now. But uh, yeah, definitely some good stuff in there. There's a Magician's Rod. That's a good one. Okay. So, let's see. How do we want to do this? Does this have a label on it? doesn't have a label. Let's see what's in here. This looks like structure decks, maybe? Structure deck stuff. Yep. So we got some Monarch structure decks. Oh, a Monarch core, it looks like. Prime Monarchs, yeah. That's a whole Monarch car, uh, core. Sorry. Very nice. So I'll take a shot in the dark. Guess we have more cores in here, maybe? Oh, nope. I was off. Well, yeah, no, this is a 10 core. Yeah, okay. Yep, 10 core. Then we have some structure decks, so we have the Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, and Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum structure decks, very cool. And set that over here. This last stack that came out of there, very cool stuff. Got some rockets, okay. Side, set that up to the side. And uh, yeah, there should be, well, I know there's gonna be, I don't actually know most of the cards, but I know there's going to be some good stuff in here for sure. I mean, Troy always had quite the collection, so. Some Battle Wasp stuff. 
Looks like maybe a core of Battle Wall, something like that. Just kind of get all this stuff out of here. More of the card displays. Those are really nice. Really cool looking. Um, let's get this box out of here. Okay, I see some stuff. Okay, so we're going to go through this in one second. But I just uh, unveiled some stuff. Oh, bump the camera. And we're going to go ahead and go through some of this. So here we go. First one is an Ultimate Rare Spiral Flame Strike in a really nice uh, hard case here. Very beautiful Ultimate Rare First Edition from Flaming Eternity. Very nice. And then next we have an Ultimate Rare First Edition Transcendent Wings. These are some really nice Ultimate Rares. And they look like they're in pretty nice condition. So. Then we have Elemental Hero Magma Neos First Edition Secret Rare Tactical Evolution. Very hard to find some of these. Then we have a, this is really nice, look at that, Dark Paladin Ultimate Rare. It is OCG, but man, that looks amazing. Very cool card. Probably one of my favorites so far. And then the last one of these that we have right here is an Arm Dragon Level 10 First Edition. Very cool card, one of my favorites from uh, the level cards. Horus and Arm Dragon, definitely top two in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, there were some other good ones too, but... Yeah, so really cool cards there. So set those aside for now. Definitely uh, some really unique, really cool cards. Okay, so in this box that I said I was gonna open up that I pulled off camera, I do see some morphing. So is there hollows? Yep, so these are hollows, it appears. And this would be, let's see, more hollows. So this is all hollows, it looks like. So man. Um, I'm going to set this box off to the side and we may go through this further in the video, but yes, this, uh, from everything I see, it looks like all holographic cards. So I might go back through this here in a little bit, but uh, I want to get this box kind of off the table so we can readjust the camera. So we're just going to keep on going first before we, uh, do anything like that. All right, let's go into this really old looking tin. He must have had this for some time. This is one of the original tins. And, um, nothing too exciting in here from the first looks of it. I see some rares. So, which is totally fine. I mean, I love rares. I'm sure there's some good ones in here. Totally okay with that. So more, more rares. Very cool. <clears throat> Another really old tin. See, I, I would imagine it's probably similar. Just need to check everything on camera to be sure. Yep, so we got some more non holographics. I'm sure there's a lot of great stuff in there as well. But uh, don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. So let's see, we got some more of these cased up cards. So here's the deck boxes that he was talking about. So he said to save the one that says ulti and the one that says juice for last. So we're gonna set these aside and these will be opened up last. But for now, let's go ahead and go through this one. Legendary Dragon, I think, is what it says. <clears throat> okay, awesome. So we got some Rika stuff. Hopefully you guys can see, I wasn't even looking at the camera there. Okay, Rika. So some newer stuff, very cool. And then, uh, what is that, Dark Revolution? Yeah, Dark Revolution, so we got some cool, uh, cool old stuff here. So some rares, Dark Fire Dragon, LOB, Harpy's Pet, Baby Dragon, can't go wrong there. All right, not a bad box at all, B Skull Dragon. Cyber Barrier, yeah, some good Suijin, yeah, good stuff in here. There's some McDonald's promos, very cool. All right, Giga Plant, I think that's actually a couple bucks. Oh wow, Tournament Pack uh, Quagar Hercules, that's a good one too. Those are Tournament Pack as well. So some good stuff in there. Set those aside. Try and uh, stay somewhat organized. 
Looks like we got a starter deck Kaiba Reloaded uh, sealed box, deck box. Very cool. All right, and now we just have the binders, the cards, and this one more box. So let's go ahead and go through, let's go through these now. I feel like there's gonna be some really good stuff in here. So we'll go ahead and go through these now. So I see some graded cards and some case cards. So we'll just go ahead and go through them one at a time together. I don't know any of these cards. Let's see, so we got, oh, Elemental Hero Neos Knight Mint 9. I don't know why I'm covering up like we're doing a submission, but uh, Mint 9, sorry for the glare. I'm working on uh, these angles, but uh, this is just such a big box that I had it propped up so high. So really nice ultimate rare, very cool Beckett grade. Got the 9-5 uh, on centering and 9 all around the rest of the grades. Then we have a, ooh, a Nova Master 9. Got the 9-5 surface with 9s on the rest of the grades. Very cool. Big fan of Elemental Heroes, especially Ultimate Rares. So I am enjoying this for sure. Okay. Oh, number 107. Another 9-5 nine, corners, 9-5 edges. So that one did get two 9-5s. Very cool. So those were the three Beckett graded cards. And now we have uh, four cards that are just in cases. Ooh, look at that. Gladiator's Assault Gilgarth. That's a really nice looking secret rare. Gladiator's Assault is insanely expensive. So, always happy to add one of those to my collection. First edition Labyrinth of Nightmare Dark Necrofear. That's a really good one. That'll probably go in my personal collection. Very happy with that one. Then we have Light and Darkness Dragon from Retro Pack 2. Okay, that's a really big one. That's nice. Lad, always a very cool card. Oh, bump the camera. And the last one of these is a U Bell, the Ultimate uh, Nightmare Secret Rare from Phantom of Darkness. So, very cool cards. We definitely had some top quality collectibles. So, um, I'm going to pull this box out and we're going to go through this shortly. But uh, I just want to get this big box out of here. So, we're going to take out the rest of the stuff. You're probably going to see me on the side here. So now the rest is binders. So we got one, two, three, and four binders. And I believe there was even more binders. There's the last one, four. And I believe there was even more binders, but what he did is, um, since the box was already like, I don't know, 100 pounds or something crazy heavy, uh, I think he took, let me throw that down there. I think he took uh, some of the cards out of some of the binders and um, probably put them in this box right here or one of the other boxes. Okay, so now we've got that box and these four binders to go through plus uh, the two deck boxes. So we've still got a ton of stuff to go through. I'm gonna set the binders down for a second and uh, I'm gonna readjust the camera. So if you are wearing hair headphones or something, probably gonna have some audio, just a uh, warning. Just gonna try and fix this mid recording so hopefully uh you guys can see just a little bit better okay so let's open this box up see what we got in here oops sorry that was probably loud so we got some giant cars here oh that's right i remember he said something so in between those is a championship 2019 sealed envelope very cool those were uh given away at locals um, they were pretty hard to get I think top from uh, first or second place at the tournament got one and uh, they only made 9,000 so they're pretty rare they're getting they're getting pretty expensive so pretty cool um, here's more of the uh, giant cards or the big cards whatever you want to call them. Set those here looks like we got some dual power promos I think those are all dual powered. Oh, no, nope. I see some others in the back here. So we'll go ahead and pull those out. So, dual power Dark Magician promo pack, um, collectible 10 mega pack, some good uh, promos here. There's a blue eyes from the uh, older mega tins. Some nice looking stuff there. If I can get those right back in that groove. And let's see what we got going on here. So, looks like some generators, hollows. Very nice. Boss stage, that's actually a good one. 
Those are uh, a couple bucks for sure. All right, very cool stuff in that pile. And uh, I'll sort this all much better in the near future. So, Battle Wasps. Looks like a core there of Battle Wasps. Very cool. Definitely a useful core to keep around. Pretty budget to uh, acquire. Mathmex, another core. Very cool. Trying not to take up too much of your guys' time, so going through the cards a little fast. But uh, yeah, that is all Mathmex. And I would imagine another core. Okay, Fortune Fairies, very cool. So some good Battles of Legends stuff there. And let's set all these off to the side. I guess I could have just put them back in the box, but uh, where's the fun in that? Okay. So let's get into this little cubby right here. If I can get these out carefully. Some tokens, nice. Can't go wrong with tokens. Definitely can't go wrong with tokens. Okay. What else do we have in here? Some uh, Salmon Great stuff. Very nice. These are the OTS promos. Spiral Quick Fix. It looks like a lot of uh, OTS and Astral Pack promos in here. That may be this whole stack. Just uh, OTS and Astral Pack, which is totally good. These are all, you know, tournament pack supers. Definitely okay with that. One Day of Peace Disciples. Uh, Loof Lupine, Green Maju, very cool. Fairy Tale Snows, True Drake Apocalypses, Metaverses. All right, Gemini Sparks, Lost Winds, Slushies. Hopefully the camera angle is decent. I'm holding it at a pretty awkward angle on, on my end, so not 100% sure if you guys can see everything perfectly or not. But uh, yeah, so the video is getting pretty long. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying it. Um, try to speed things up here shortly. It <laughs> looks like, so we got some Pokemon cards with a couple of uh, counterfeits. Still really cool. Duskmane, Necrozma. Yeah, I, those are uh, counterfeits, but very cool. Very cool looking cards. Um, yeah, so pretty cool Pokemon stuff here. Set those off to the side. And then we have some Battles of Legend, or no, Duelov stuff. Yeah, Duelist Overload stuff. Giga Plants, White Mares, very cool. Some awesome stuff. Let's see, what's, what's all this about? Dude, so that's probably a whole, or part of a dude's set. And then that looks like some commons. So let's get into this stack of uh, sleeved stuff here. Oh, here's a good, some good stuff. Uh, Yangzing Pass. Yeah, Yangzing Core, nice. Yeah, I think the Pass are worth something right now, so that's uh, pretty cool. Chiyoto, Chewins, Dinglongs. All right. Then, try and keep this stuff somewhat together. Let's see, Gaga Gods here. I probably just messed up the whole order of everything, but uh, yeah, Gaga Gods, really nice. Oh, they are separated. Okay, Metal Foes. So this is definitely a bunch of cores, which is always a good thing. Set those there. Some Ignitions. Ignites. Sorry. Ignites. Very cool. What else do we have in here? Oh, there's some Mayhem for Hires. Secret Rares. Very nice. So we got a Mayhem, or a For Hired Core, Raphael, Dinas, Wizzes, Beats, nice. All right, set these over here. Gaga Gaws, oh, that must have been part of the deck earlier. Oh, wow, with Gaga Gaw heads, those are nice. Those are, uh, I believe, a magazine promo or something. They're a little pricey, nothing crazy, but uh, pretty cool. Okay, where did I put it? There it is, Gaga Gaw Core. And then, oh, Blue Eyes Spirits from uh, their original set. Oh, yeah, here's a Blue Eyes Core. Very nice. Okay. White Stones, Sages, Blue Eyes Alternatives. Very nice. Sweet. That was a good Blue Eyes Core. Some good value there. And, uh, yeah, so that's the rest of this little box here. Still plenty to go. 
So let me get these off camera and put away. Okay. Cool. While we're uh, moving stuff around, be sure to uh, let me know if you're watching this far into the video. For anybody that actually did watch the whole video, really do appreciate that. That means a lot to me. And uh, let me know what you guys are doing. Hopefully you're all staying safe. And uh, yeah, just let me know how everybody's doing, what, what you're up to. Uh, if anything exciting is going on for you, any, any cool Yu-Gi-Oh! related stuff, you know, whatever. Just let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. So into the first binder here, looks like we have some Exceeds. I see some dual terminal Constellar Ptolemies, which is really nice. Um, I think uh, number 100 just went up in price, actually. I could be wrong. Uh, number 30s, showing jump promos. Let's see. Actually, I think I'm going to adjust the camera one more time. Bear with me for just one second here, guys. Hopefully this will be the last time. Can I get it a little bit further down? Maybe that'll be better. Maybe not. Who knows? Okay, so there's some uh, cool secret rares here. Phantom Chaos, Redoxes, Earthbound Line Walkers, Titles, uh, Blasters, and then, man, what is up with these blue eyes? Got some uh, Sun Bleached or uh, Low Ink blue eyes. I'll have to inspect those a little closer later. Very cool looking, though. All right, we got some uh, Magician's Combinations, Soul Servants, very good... Uh, Stuff here, Photon Strike Bouncers, Originals, Gladiator Tamings, Mounds, Ghost Sisters, all look to be uh, Originals. Oh, here we go. Got some Gods. The uh, Gold Rare Gods are actually still pretty pretty pricey, not like crazy or anything, but uh, they're definitely very cool and uh, pretty nostalgic to me. I definitely, one of my favorite versions of the Gods. Um, these are uh, Majesty's Fiends, but they're Italian, very cool. Then we have some Mystic Pipers, those are really nice with some Solemn Strikes here and some Gladiator Beasts at the top. Cosmo Dark Ladies, uh, we got some Shock Masters, oops, Jump Promos, those are cool. Mirror Force Dragons, Doom Virus Dragons, very nice stuff. Oh, I like this page, so we got some Red Layers, Archfiend Eccentrics, and then this is probably one of my favorite pages of this binder so far. So, we got some Video Game Promos, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. We got the Magnet Warriors, Zoa, and Metal Zoa. Some more cool cards. Magician Circles. Is that NTR? Yeah, NTR. So that's a promo, I believe. Burials. Very nice. Ooh, Dijins. Those are first edition. A lot of really cool, unique cards that you just don't get in collections at all. So, um, Sorcerer of Dark Magics. Very cool. Those are actually first edition, which are a little hard to find. Showing jumps here. Armory Arms, Trap Tricks. Number 54s, Card Card Ds. That card used to be easily over $100 when it was first released. That card was crazy expensive. Um, pretty cool. Uh, super Anti Kaijus, or Super Anti Kaiju War Machines, Starlight Roads. All right. And then, uh, oh, some Creations. Witchcrafter Golem Aruro, and uh, probably said that wrong, and Xcode Talker. Or is that Xcode? Yeah, Xcode Talker. So that's the first binder. We have three more to go. And uh, then we'll do the deck boxes that we said we would save for last. So here's the next binder. I actually really like these binders. Um, Konami did a really good job on them. You can see all the cards in the background. Ragaki, Lily, Zodi piece there, Imperial Order. Very cool. I like to just stare at these and just notice all the cards. Pretty fun. Um, pretty, pretty cool. They did a really good job. So uh, Threatening Roars. Some Gaga Ga Magicians, Cyber Emergency. Oh, these are cool. So that's a foreign uh, Storming Mirror Force. What is that? Is that Italian? Yeah, two Italian secret rares. Very cool. Solemn Judgment. Um, Dual Eternal Sacred Phoenix right there. Very nice. Um, Hardened Arm Dragon. That's a really nice secret rare there. Two of those uh, with the Levianir. And some Ogres. Gizmic Kakus here. Iron Dragons, Tour Guide, Lord of D, that's the uh, Booster Pack 10 promo, really nice. Alright, I see some Shonen Jump stuff here. Lithic Stardust, Toon Dark Magician Girl, that's a really good one there. Some more uh, magazines and Shonen Jump stuff here, very nice. Some Maxi Ultras, those are nice, and uh, Cyber Harpy Lady. 
All right. Oh, and we got our first ghost rare, Gores. Very cool ghost rare. Even though it is the gold, it's still very cool. There's a Dark Beginning 2 Dark Necrop here. That's really sweet. And some Liquid Soldiers and a Bro Tour. Very nice looking binder for sure. Um, there's a Dimension Fusion. Those are actually pretty decently valuable. Um, which Strikes, Scoldings. There's an Ulti up here, Mischief of the Yokai. Very cool stuff. Uh, Raigeki. Can't go wrong with a Raigeki. Abomination's Prison. Allure. Utopia Double. Uh, Trishula. Oh, there's an Emmer's Blade. That's nice. The Last Warrior from Legacy. Or not Legacy. Um, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Oh, what's the XYZ from? Booster Pack 10 XYZ and a Master Collection. That was nice. And a Dual Terminal Exterio. Very cool. Lots of exceeds here. There's a Lavalval Chain. Number 82, but it's in French. Right there. Very cool. Uh, Utopia Kaiser. Very cool stuff here. Gallant Granites. Uh, Lingribo, Heretic Seal, Romulus, Boral Guards, Electromite, very nice stuff is sold. Um, there's a Shonen Jump Hyper Librarian, that's cool. Alright, some good stuff in there. Leather Electromite, Sunlight Wolf, and that was binder number two. So, let's see, how do we want to do this? Can this one fit up here? I guess we'll just do this one next, so. Here's this binder, really nice uh, quality binder here. Definitely like the feel of it. So, got some uh, spells and traps here. Some more god cards up here. Painful decision, dreamier stuff. Um, scrap breakers, master diamonds. Flying elephants, not bad, not bad. Um, what is that? UTRT. Not sure what that writing stands for there, but that's cool. Uh, Sentence of Doom, some good uh, supers here. Living Fossils, Break Swords. Those are uh, the original Break Swords too, that's really nice. I haven't had those in a while. Some Astral Packs with Scarecrows, those are nice. Um, uh, scepters and Chairs, pretty cool. Six and Chairs, I mean, uh, number 97. Oh, well, these are pretty cool. Enemy of Justice, uh, Voltanuses, Ultra Rares, with some Downer Magician Secret Rares up there. And that one is, uh, is that foreign? Oh, no, it's not foreign. It just looked like it from the glare. Okay. Um, hopefully you guys can see everything good. Uh, Beat Cop, Platinum Gadget. I noticed that we're over 30 minutes now, so I'm just trying to, trying to speed it up a little bit. But still, I want to enjoy this amazing collection. And uh, thank you so much to Troy. really appreciate you coming and... Uh, shipping all this stuff to me and working with me on this deal it really uh means a lot i know you had to ship it all the way from canada so um hopefully everything was worth it for you hopefully you enjoyed the deal and i uh, really appreciate it again so thank you again troy and anybody watching this if you do see troy's comment down in the uh comments definitely give it a little like and uh again tell him thank you for supporting this uh video and supporting the channel making this video happen um yeah so really cool guy uh, we got some Stardust here, number 101, or not 101, 103. Um, but yeah, Troy definitely had a huge collection, and I know he kept a lot of good stuff for himself, which is totally understandable. I mean, anytime you sell a collection, I mean, it's hard not to keep um, some stuff for yourself. So I totally respect that, and I'm glad he did. And uh, I'm sure his collection is still better than uh, quite a few others out there. He had uh, some pretty good stuff. So, Twin Barrel Dragons. Harpy Conductor, Cap Shells, and it looks like that's the end of that binder. So we got one more binder, and uh, then the deck boxes that he said to save for last. And I think that's everything, so. Here we go. This is quite a big binder, so it might not fit the whole camera too well. It might be harder to see, but uh, we'll do our best. So, got some Battle Faders. I really like these four-page binders. They're pretty nice. Uh, let me know if you guys have had any experience with these and what you think. So we got some Primal Being tokens here, some Heavy Storm Dusters off camera, just off the side. Uh, judgments, it looks like it's all play sets so far, which is really nice. Mathematicians, um, we got some Stratoses over here, Cybersteins, very cool. Lost Wind, um, Block, Dragons, some Hand Traps here, Tuning Wares, those are cool. Um, oh, that's really nice, Doom Cows, Doom Caliber Knights here from uh, Turbo Pack, right? Yeah, yeah, Turbo Pack. Those are really nice. 
All right, very cool. Fusion Destinies, those are, uh, I think those are still a couple bucks each for sure. Uh, some Upstarts, Twin Twisters, Instant Fusions, can't go wrong with any of those. Um, definitely these Flame Swordsmen's caught my eye over here. Some LOB Flame Swordsmen, those are nice. Definitely check those out right after this video. We got a first edition Mazara DeVille right here. Very beautiful card. Love uh, old secret rares, especially in first edition. So that one I'll definitely take a closer look at later. Probably go in my personal collection as well. There's a cool token here. I'm not sure what this is from, but uh, definitely looks cool. Looks really sweet. So I'll have to look into that and see if that's uh, where that came from. Just a regular back, huh? Okay, and then uh, some Magician's Valkyries up here from the Shonen Jump. Those are awesome. Very cool card. Got a cross sheep over here. Pretty good uh, rare. There's another LOB hollow. We got a Curse of Dragon over here. That's nice. Big fan of uh, Legend of Blue Eyes cards. Pendulum Sorcerers here. Very nice. Uh, Magical Stone. That's a good one. Very good card there. Here's a, ooh, a LOB Gaia. Definitely going to like like all these LOB cards. Uh, Man Eater Bug over here. Very nice. Izanagi. Manticore of Darkness from Invasion of Chaos. Uh, Ignis Heat and Darkest Diabolses are pretty good too. So it uh, looks like we got an Exodia set here with uh, some pendulums. There's a really nice secret rare here. Hopefully, you guys are able to see most of this. I'm trying to fit as much of it on camera as I can. There's a first edition Dark Crisis spell vanishing. That's really uh, hard to find Dark Crisis in first edition nowadays. Very cool. We got some sealed. Uh, Lost Art Promotion Ring of Destructions up here and down here. Those are still sealed. Very cool. Uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare Dark Spirit over here off camera right there. Uh, Trap Hole. Call of the Haunted. That's a good one. We'll pull that out and take a look. It's a Pharaoh's Servant. Call of the Haunted. Very nice. Very cool. Ultra Rare. Definitely some good uh, nostalgia there. Solid Soldier. All right. Definitely an amazing collection. Uh, looks like we got a cool uh, signed card here. Is that, does that say Rich Choi? <laughs> uh, I think I, I've heard of him on Facebook. Rich Choi. Right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I know who that is, but I could be wrong. Uh, card of Demise. Uh, Pot of Greeds. There's some. Uh, White Horned Dragons over here, it's pretty cool. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna show you guys while I have it right here. So here's the card, uh, White Horned Dragon, GXNG. And uh, how you actually originally got this card, I actually have it right here. I'm gonna open this on the channel here soon, but uh, this is where this originally came from. So really cool, I don't know, I just noticed that I had this right next to me, so I figured I'd bring it out. But uh, spoiler for an upcoming video, we're gonna be opening up some of those, so. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Okay. And the packs in that, uh, if you didn't see them, are uh, Elemental Energy, Cybernetic Revolution, and Shadow of Infinity. So some really good packs. Okay. Next page. All right. Uh, Graceful Dice. Very nice card advances. Uh, Sebex Blessing. Very cool promo there. Question up the top right. Pendulum Calls, Core Transport Unit, that's uh, an older first edition secret. I'm a big fan of uh, old first edition stuff, so pretty cool. Uh, enemy Controller from Ancient Sanctuary, that's nice. Oh, we got a first edition Delinquent Duo. Even when these are played, these are still uh, pretty, pretty valuable, pretty hard to find. So it looks like it's actually in really good condition. A little bit of silvering across the borders, but... Uh, the actual card surface looks really clean, so definitely a solid uh, binder card. Still playable, still collectible, so very cool. Here's some really nice seeds. I see an Emerald, Invoker, Hope Harbinger, Sky Century, or Sky Calvary, uh, and a Tree of Beasts, Dominance. Oh, there's a Evil Hero Lightning Golem and an Evil Hero Inferno Wing. Very cool, some hero stuff here. Uh, Crackdown, Twin Twisters, Super Juve, Firewall Dragon, uh, Inspector Borders, Dark Lord Amdusk, there's a good one. 
All right, and that is the last page of this binder. So now we are done with the binders. And uh, I think we've done everything except for these two boxes. The only thing we haven't done, uh, I don't, I think we're already 40 minutes in the video. I don't think I'm going to go through all of these on camera, but I will uh, be going through these right after the video and just uh, make sure I didn't miss anything. So don't worry, I will uh, check them out. And if something huge is in there, I'll probably throw it at the end of the video. But uh, since this video is already 40 minutes long, I don't want to take too much of your guys' time, so we'll go ahead and go through the Juice and the Ulti. I don't know which which one to go through first. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, well, if you went with Ulti, then you're right. <laughs> We're going to go with Ulti. Okay, so let's see some Ultimate Rares. I love Ultimate Rares. Big fan. Um, probably... Those ultis and ghost rares definitely my favorite rarities. So let's go ahead and just set these here. Grab a small pile here. And let's just go through them. So Empress of Prophecy. Herophant of Prophecy. Number 55, Hard Earth. Some really good. These are all first edition so far. Number 10. Oh yeah, Cyber Espers. Very nice. Card of Sanctities, first edition. Is that yeah, the Lost Millennium? Very nice. Ninja Grandmaster Suzuki, uh, probably said that name wrong. Boxia, Castell, there's a really good one. Uh, Susanoo, Trident Dragon, UFO Roids, very cool. Desert Twister, Ma uh, My Stroke, May Stroke, however you say it. Uh, Soldier Lady, Doom Kaiser Dragon Assault Mode, that's a really nice one. I'll have to check uh, a lot of these more closely right after this. There's a Water Dragon, that's a really cool one. Uh, Cyber Blader. Gear Free the Swords Master, look at that, that just pops. I mean, that looks really nice. I mean, if this isn't uh, filling up your nostalgia for the day, I don't know what is. I mean, this is amazing. You don't see collections like this every day at all. This is definitely, this is a huge collection. And uh, thank you again to Troy for sending this to me and uh, trusting me with uh, all these cards and working out a deal. Uh, if anyone else does want to sell their collection, you can always ship it to me. I'll get you an offer after uh, I receive the cards and uh, get you paid right away. Or if you don't like my offer, I'll ship them back for free, no worries. But, um, yeah. So definitely reach out to me if you do want to sell some cards. Uh, but other than that, yeah, wow. So, so many good, amazing Ultimate Rares here. Dimension Wall, Supreme Arcanite Magician, that's a good one. Mega Rock Dragon, that's a good one too, actually. Lost Millennium. Nolan Void, another Nolan Void, Go Go the Gallant Ninja, number C39 Utopia Ray, Magister Paladin, that's a good one, Ghost Trick Alucard, there's uh, some Heralds, looks like three of them, yep, three Heralds from uh, OTS pack, very good uh, ulti there as well, grab a few more here, try not to show any spoilers. So we got a Super Viacroid Jumbo Drill, Gaia Drake, Universal Force, Bountiful Artemis, there's a good one. Playset of those, yeah, playset. Uh, Chivalry. Oh, I guess I should be checking for playsets. Oh, that's nice. So Night Beam, oops, dropping Chivalry. So I should probably pay attention a little closer here. Okay, so these are uh, Italian Night Beams. Very cool from Galactic Overload. Very cool. So then we have uh, Sephira's Gaga -ga -ga Magician playset, Photon Papal Operative playset. Wow, four of them. Nice. Okay, Lightning Chidori. That's a really good one. Cosmo Blazer, Psychic Overload, uh, Bujenki Amaterasu, Rising Energy, Storm Shooter, Blackwing Elfin the Raven. I think it's safe to say this is probably the most, uh, well, I think this is, might be the most ultimate rares I've gotten. I don't know. I got another big collection in a video a few months back. But this is definitely the biggest collection overall that I've gotten. I mean, this box was like 100 pounds. I mean, this this is a huge collection. Definitely one of the top collections on the channel. So uh, if you are enjoying it, please do give it a like, subscribe, and uh, definitely say thank you to Troy for uh, letting us enjoy all these beautiful cards that he's probably collected for uh, quite some time. So number 12, number 25... 
number C96, number 33, a couple of those, Life Equalizer, Crusader of Endymion, two of those, one's first edition, oh, three of those, Defensive Tactics, Rampaging Rhinos, three of those, all first edition, number 46, Breakthrough Skill, that's a good one. And uh, then we finish off with a playset of Alien Warriors. So that was the deck box that said Ultimate Rares. Definitely some really cool stuff in there. And just overall, just a huge, amazing stack of uh, Ultimate Rares. So let us see what is in the Juice stack as he has labeled it. Looks like there's some good stuff in here. But going off of everything else we've seen, I would imagine there's probably going to be some, some decent stuff. So... Let's just go ahead and get these out. And I already see a classic card right on top, so that is a great start. Okay, so can I, uh, I don't want to spoil too much, so we'll scoot those over. There we go, okay. So, starting out with a Pharaoh's Servant First Edition Nobleman of Crossout. Like I said, I love First Edition Hollows. A lot of these will end up in my collection for sure. Um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from Shoney Jump. Those are actually hard to find nowadays. First edition Call of the Haunted. That's really nice. Shoney Jump Slifer. That's really cool too. These were like crazy, crazy expensive for a while. Uh, Shoney Jump Obelisk. Wicked Racer. These are all jump promos. Wicked Avatar. Wicked Dread Roots. So the whole three of those. Oh, here we go. That's a big boy card. Okay. First edition Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode Ghost Rare. That's a huge one. Okay, we hit the Ghost Rares. Okay. Junk Berserker Ghost Rare, first edition. Oh, Star Eater. I love Star Eater. Look at that. My gosh, I love Ghost Rares. You do not find Ghost Rares in first edition this often anymore. So, to get this many in once, amazing. Wow. And uh, followed up by a Dragon Knight Draco Aquist. Let's just pile those up. Probably said that name wrong, but uh, that's a really cool one from Duelist Revolution. There's another Ghost Rare, number C39, Utopia Ray. Heroic Champion Excalibur, Ghost Rare. All first edition so far. Number C32, Shark Drake Vice. Alright, still going on the first edition Ghost Rare, Stone Knight, Delta Rose. So many Ghost Rares, this is awesome. Fujinki Amaterasu. Very solid collection. Props to Troy. That was an amazing stack of Ghost Rares. That was a lot of fun for me. Did not know that all those were in there. So, Sheba Warrior Taro. Uh, Aegis of Gaia. Strike of Neo Secret Rare. Very cool. A couple of those. Dark Paladin from uh, Duelist Pack Yugi. Very cool first edition. Fog King. Some really good. Look at that. Gemini Summoner. Some really good first edition secret rares in here. Mist Archfiend. Quacky Mirror Bergzag. Uh, Zeta Reticulant. A couple of those. Median the Time Lord, Glider Beast Octavius, another Median, Tualatin, I think that's a good one, one of the fairies, I think that's, uh, I think that's worth a little bit, could be mistaken for something else, but uh, all these original secret rares are just awesome, I mean I love these type of cards, and uh, yeah, these are the type of things that I just, I put a good amount of them into my personal collection. And uh, just keep them pretty much forever. So Prometheus, Mormolith, there's a really interesting looking secret rare from Tactical Evolution. Belial, that's Phantom of Darkness. Tongue Twister, Gladiator's Assault, that's a nice one. Arcana Force, Red Eyes, Black Metal. The End of Anubis, First Edition Ancient Sanctuary, there's a really good one. Uh, Shonen Jump, Blue Eyes, both the Secret and the Ultra. So that had two different variants. Um, Frost and Flame Dragon, that looks like Tactical Evolution. Legendary Dragon of White and Magician of Dark. Those are the World Superstars ones. Really cool. Heretic Dragon. Greed Grotto. Very cool. Number seven. A couple of those. Ebon Illusion. Shown and Jump. Those are hard to find now, nowadays. Um, we got some. What is that? Dark. Dark Revolution 4 Karma Cut. That's really hard to find. Mystical Ref Panel. That's a nice one. Mazra Deville. Love Ancient Sanctuary. Uh, Orichalcos, oh there's a nice one, Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End from Invasion of Chaos, that's a, that's a mean looking card, that's an awesome card, one of my favorites from Invasion of Chaos, very happy with that, Magician of Black Chaos, Blackwing Zephros, and Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, 
And then our final stack of the video. This is it. There's nothing else to go through. We've gone through everything. This is it. Infernity General. Zodiac Chalk 9. A couple of those. Those actually went up in price recently. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, Fort Photon Orbitals. Those are pretty expensive, too, last time I checked. Same with Galaxy Soldiers. Very nice. Very cool winged Karibo. Oh, Karibo. That's the uh, promo. Then we have Inferno Fire Blast from Dark Revolution 3. Very cool. And some, those are the book promos. DDD Destiny Hero. Those are good. And finish off. Wow, you can't go wrong. Finish off with uh, Infinite Impermanence. Very strong, very good uh, cards. So this has been Troy's Collection. And again, thank you so much, Troy, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, really awesome guy. Really cool. And uh, yeah, props to him. Thank you so much. And thank you anybody who actually stuck through the whole video. I know it was a really long one. Um, we did it with no cuts at all. That was just one straight through shot from opening to finish. So sorry for all the slow, slow parts in between and uh, all the technical difficulties. But hopefully it was worth it. And again, thank you if you did watch it all. And for those of you who didn't, I really appreciate you just stopping by either way. Uh, got some more big videos like this coming up. Um, some more collections coming in the mail. Some more big openings. So uh, stay tuned. Subscribe. Click the bell. Like the video. It all helps out. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this collection. What your favorite card was. Um, and let me know what you guys are doing. Uh, what are you doing to keep busy? Any games to keep you busy? Uh, are you playing Yu-Gi-Oh! online? Uh, I had a comment in one of my recent videos where a guy said he was uh, dueling with his friends. Uh, through video chat so that's awesome so let me know if any of you guys have done that as well and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys so i'll uh i'll cut it here but uh yeah thank you again so much to troy i really appreciate it man very very unique very cool collection um let's see i guess i'll kind of get some of my favorites pulled out these are all definitely really unique stuff so I wanted to do like a uh, something for the thumbnail here, but I don't know how well it'll turn out. We'll see. But uh, some really, really awesome stuff. Didn't turn out quite as expected. I was hoping to do a really cool video with these, or a uh, screenshot for the thumbnail. But uh, anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks again, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.